First on CBS This Morning, Bon Appetit magazine is revealing this year's list of the hot 10 best new restaurants in the U.S. Deputy editor Andrew Knowlton and senior projects editor Julia Kramer sampled food across the country for nearly a year. They traveled a combined 35,000 miles to visit 41 cities. They landed in 22 different airports to put together this year's list, and we gave them cameras to document their journey. I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana. Been on the road for nine days. Finally found a restaurant last night that I think could be in the hot ten, so I'm pretty psyched about that. This is the hardest place to eat just because no vegetable goes uncooked. People are definitely looking at me like I'm a crazy person eating an entire box of pastries outside. Typical day for me on the road is two breakfasts. People are always like, oh, I want to go out to dinner with you. Your job sounds so amazing. And then they come out with me and we have one dinner. I try to hit two lunch and then two dinners. Then I'm like, okay, it's time to go to the next dinner. And they're like, what? But that's when you know if something's really good is if you can't stop eating it after six meals. I am looking for restaurants that have a very particular point of view. I think that that is what sets our list apart from the many other lists that are now out there. We'd like to go from 10 to numero uno. When it's time for us to present our list to our editor-in-chief, Adam Rappaport, we make these yeah. big boards where we print. This, this is all Julia, by the way. This is her influence, because she loves school you projects. You didn't do boards before I got here? I don't think so. I what? mean, I might have like shown him an Instagram from my phone. <laughs> These are some of her desserts, which are all very like modern looking. We make these big boards and we print out photos of the food and the chef and the space. And then we go to his office and we sort of talk him through each of the 10 restaurants and hope that he gives us the green light. It's a really, really small kitchen. We go in there with confidence, I think, and trust ourselves that we came up with a list that's diverse in its cuisine, geographically diverse and it's restaurants that are representative of what's going on in American restaurants at this moment. And I think if we hit those places, I think we have a pretty solid list. All those meals and trips led to their hot 10 restaurant list. They range from classic comfort food to new American cuisine and stretch from San Francisco to New York. Coming in at number three is Mr. Jews in San Francisco. Number two is Elski in Chicago. And their number one pick is Turkey and the Wolf in New Orleans. Andrew and Julia, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So why do you give them number one? <laughs> Well, Turkey and the Wolf is this, it's, it's a really weird, unexpected choice, I think. It's basically a sandwich shop, stuff that we all grew up with, a bologna sandwich, uh, a chicken sandwich, but just elevated. Um, and I think what we agreed on is we had more fun eating at Turkey and the Wolf than any other place. It was that restaurant that both of us couldn't get out of our mind. Um, they do this amazing uh, collard green melt. That sounds so mundane. It's a vegetarian sandwich. I don't really like vegetarian sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And it was the best thing I ate this year. Mm. And it was just, you know, it was nostalgic. It was fun. It was escapism for me. Well, I knew I wanted to look the page, lick the page when I looked at mm -hmm. the page yeah. that you guys put yeah. in. But you, it seems like Chicago's having a moment, Julia, your hometown. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not just saying that because it's I was thinking you're biased. <laughs> no cronyism. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think Chicago is really emblematic of the most exciting things that are going on in food around the country but all concentrated in this one city mm -hmm. just have an amazing range of diverse types of restaurants you have incredible Mexican food incredible Korean food Portuguese food all sort of coming together with new spins on and it. that Elski you said for desserts you, you described it as visual artistry yes I love yes that. I love this restaurant this is number two on our list it's a husband and wife he does the savory like she does the sweet mm -hmm. and her desserts are so gorgeous yes they are visual artistry but they also actually taste amazing and then one from my home my home state Raleigh North Carolina yeah brewery Bavana uh, you're from Henderson which is just, right. just north of uh, Raleigh so That's next right. time you gotta go I'll be there so it's it's, it's a <laughs> Up. It's a flower shop, it's a brewery, it's a dim sum place, and a bookstore. And it's in this vast huh. space. And what it's become for North Carolina and Raleigh specifically is kind of a community center. It's run by uh, first generation immigrants uh, from Laos. Uh, they, they made friends with a guy who brews beer. And it's just this amazing space where people 
all different walks of life can come. And the, the, the dim sum is as good as any I've had in New York City. One more great thing about immigrants. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Julia, you write that people are sort of returning to nostalgia and comfort food. Yeah, so one of the trends that we saw all over was the return of dishes like prime rib and ice cream pie and all this stuff that's what chefs actually want to eat. And now they're saying, hey, we don't have to do the tweezer food thing anymore. We can just cook the food at a restaurant. What's and tweezer food? What is, was that? Was you that? know, all the chefs kind of like laboring oh, over oh, the little see, edible tweezer, flowers. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. <laughs> and one example okay. of that comfort food is in Philadelphia. Oh, yeah. So that's an amazing place called Poizzi Social Club, which is number four on our list. It's a very old school Italian American restaurant. You can get, you know, shells in red sauce, but it's done by this amazing chef who's putting like a little bit of a modern fresh twist and on it. And the one thing about this place is you have to have a membership to get in. Uh -huh. Anybody can buy a membership. You just have to get there right when they open, pay 20 bucks, you get a membership for the year then you can eat there anytime you want. And you divide up the country. How do you decide where you're going to go between the two of you? And do the restaurants know you're coming ahead of time? So the restaurants do not know that we are coming. We, I use, you know, fake names. I use mm -hmm. all kinds of old baseball players that nobody will recognize. <laughs> I, anything I can think yeah. of. Um, and then we divide it up just, you know, year to year. I went to the Pacific Northwest, West Coast. That was for a reason that we'll probably get to in a second. Uh, Julia did the East Coast. And we just kind of crisscross. Two mouths are always better than one, I think, when you're trying to eat but as But you much get as Instagram possible. feeds or ideas from people that tell you you should go here. Yeah, we spend the whole year researching these restaurants. We look at their Instagrams. We talk to friends in those cities. We read all the local news to try to figure out which ones are worth going to. Mm -hmm. And my, my favorite part of this whole story, too, is that Julia was pregnant through this whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it, 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 I, like I said, mad respect, because this is a hard job. I know. I have a food baby. She's got two babies going on. Yeah. I love that he said, or he has mad respect respect. <laughs> no, it's only me pregnant and do all that. Yeah. Well, the not drinking definitely kept me on task. <laughs> oh, you didn't drink? No. Yeah, no. no, she well, it's didn't. A really fun, a it's a really fun, it's a really, not only do you find these great restaurants, it's beautifully written. It's just yes. a fun read, so yeah. congratulations. Thank you so much. We're proud of it. To, to both of you, Andrea Knowlton and Julia Kramer, thanks again. Thank you. To find out more about these top restaurants, visit cbsthismorning.com.